Dacia Duster, the budget-friendly SUV that delivers adventure, comfort, and capability. Imagine a car that comfortably fits a family of four, packs all their gear, tackles off-road adventures, and boasts a stylish look. All for under $36,000 with every option included. Sound too good to be true? You might just be thinking of the Dacia Duster. Dacia, the Romanian car maker owned by Renault since 1999, is known for its good value cars, in simpler terms, affordable cars. Dacia doesn't bother with flashy marketing claims or try to convince you that driving its cars will make you feel like royalty. Instead, it focuses on delivering exactly what drivers need without any unnecessary frills. Yes, Dacia's offerings lean towards the budget-friendly side, but there's a difference between budget that feels cheap and budget that feels like a smart choice. Dacia's cars fall firmly in the latter category. Its lineup offers variety without redundancy. A compact hatchback, a spacious wagon, a mini EV, and a small SUV. Soon, there'll even be a larger SUV called the Bigster, a name as bold as the car itself. But the true standout of Dacia's lineup is the Duster. Why? Because the Duster has long been an unpretentious, reliable ride that gets you from point A to point B with ease. It sits high off the ground, so loading kids into the back is hassle-free. Its materials may not be luxurious, but they're practical. If a shopping cart grazes it, you're not looking at a fortune in repairs. And with the option for all-wheel drive, it's equipped to handle mud, rough trails, and even pesky puddles on the school run. The Duster is simply everything many people need in a car, without the excess. This year, Dacia introduced the third-generation Duster, a significant model for the brand, with over 2.2 million units sold across Europe since its 2010 debut. It's a common sight in towns everywhere. You're likely to spot one, especially in classic UN white with steel wheels. The new Duster offers a choice of engines, a 1.0-liter bifuel, a 1.2-liter mild hybrid, and a 1.6-liter full hybrid. While the bifuel option isn't expected to dominate, the mild and full hybrids are likely to lead in popularity. Buyers can also choose between front or all-wheel drive, catering to a range of driving needs. With all seats down and no spare wheel, the front-wheel drive model offers up to 57.0 cubic feet of cargo space, though all-wheel drive trims lose a bit of that capacity. Dacia keeps the trims straightforward. The base essential version includes the basics, pretty much just a roof and essentials. Moving up to the expression adds alloy wheels, a rear-view camera, a 10.1-inch infotainment screen, and more. The extreme trim, similar to expression, brings larger wheels, copper-brown accents, and adventure-oriented features. Then there's the Journey trim, a high-end option focused on comfort rather than ruggedness. To meet EU regulations, the new Duster now includes active safety tech as standard. In the past, Dacia avoided adding these features, given their customers weren't overly concerned with them. Now, a large touchscreen provides web-connected navigation, satellite radio, safety controls, and compatibility with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for a personalized experience. Design-wise, the new Duster has a futuristic, almost concept look. This bold style could age well like the BMW i8 or might feel like retro sci-fi in time. Dacia is also pushing sustainability, with 20% of the plastic in the new Duster made from recycled materials, including some exterior trims. Inside, you won't find exotic materials or puff and hide. Instead, there are nicely designed but hard plastics and comfy seats. Dacia's customers don't need puffing, nor do they need a throne that'll massage their buttocks. They need something that children can kick, pointy things can grind against, and that won't look like a bomb site after three days of moderate use. Given it has some off-road cred, I was delighted to find out it isn't all mouth and no trousers. It won't best a Wrangler up a mountain, but you can take through deep puddles and up steepish slopes, letting its hill descent control guide you down the other side. Dacia's fitted a number of switchable modes, so you can let the car know what it's going to face too, which isn't unusual for a car that looks a bit SUV-ish, but it's still pretty cool to see it at this price point. 
If you're up for adventure, you can even spec a sleep pack to turn the trunk and rear seats into a bed. There's a suite of adventure, stuff you can pick up should the call of the wild take you. On the road, I played in both the mild and full hybrids. The mild hybrid comes with 129 horsepower and a six-speed manual. No, it's not the sort of power that'll set your hair on fire. Hell, giving it the beans around some truly stunning country roads, the performance barely even gets an ember going. But it was sustainably quick. Its stick shift is fun and easy to use. I could quickly flick it from ratio to ratio, getting a little tingle of joy each time. There's no spine-compressing acceleration, and the numbers on its digital speedometer don't go up very quickly at all. But it makes a parpy noise and makes you smile. Despite sitting decently high off the ground, the duster doesn't wallow or roll too much. An Alpine A110 it is not, but it keeps occupants upright and happy on a cruise. If you decide to be a child and see how quickly you can go around corners, it'll make lots of noise while going not very quickly. Thankfully, you don't get the impression that it'll fall over. The full hybrid has a touch more power, 139 horses, but there's no manual there. Instead, you get a 4-speed automatic and a readout that shows you where power is going, to the battery, to the wheels, or anywhere else it fancies. The electric boost is welcome, and it glides neatly along until its IC motor decides it wants to fire energy into the battery. Here things get oddly noisy, and it can be a bit irksome. You can still cover all the ground you want in it without issue, though. The new duster has a tough job to do. Its predecessor did without many of the toys the new one comes with, and is broadly adored by all who encounter it. Daisha's goal of making cars that do what its customers need has been met here. And with a new look, some extra ability, and those extra tricks up its sleeve, it'll probably score huge points. Daisha UK says that 1,000 people have already ordered a new duster without having even looked at a physical car. Luckily, they'll discover they've made a wise choice. The duster is still excellent at what it does. Your SUV doesn't need to be a rocket ship to be downright brilliant. The Daisha Duster delivers solid performance tailored for versatility and reliability rather than high-speed thrills. Its range of engine options, including a 1.0 liter bifuel, a 1.2 liter mild hybrid, and a 1.6 liter full hybrid offers flexibility depending on driving needs. The mild and full hybrid options provide a smoother and more fuel efficient drive, especially in urban settings. The Duster's available all-wheel drive enhances its off-road capability, making it a practical choice for those who navigate rough terrains or varying weather conditions. Despite its affordability, the duster suspension is tuned to handle a variety of surfaces with surprising comfort, making it a capable performer both on and off the road. In terms of handling, the duster is designed to feel confident and stable with light steering that aids in city maneuvering and parking. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.